Here's Chief National Correspondent Jim Angle. A new debate has broken out over the individual mandate. As analysts argue, the hardship exemptions are so broad, almost anyone can avoid the tax penalty for not buying insurance. The notion of covering the uninsured and having a mandate, which they said was absolutely crucial to Obamacare, is falling apart day by day. There's a real question uh, whether the White House has just abandoned the individual mandate, uh, the heart of Obamacare itself. Hardship exemptions are primarily aimed at the homeless or victims of evictions, foreclosures, or bankruptcies and the like. But the last two, the 13th and 14th, open the door wider. Number 13 offers a hardship exemption if, quote, you received a notice saying that your current health insurance plan is being canceled and you consider the other plans available unaffordable. It asked only for a copy of notice of cancellation. That was a pretty low bar to avoid the mandate, but then number 14 made it lower still, allowing a waiver if, quote, you experienced another hardship in obtaining health insurance and only ask for documentation if possible. So critics argue those wanting to avoid the mandate and the tax penalty could say almost anything. You can say, I couldn't find a policy to suit my needs. It was too expensive, unaffordable. I have a special condition. Didn't look like it was covered. Uh, anything. As long as you say, I had a hardship of getting insurance, I want an exemption. Well, we've known for a long time now that this law was unworkable. And this just further uh, proves that point. Representative Jenkins was particularly surprised after her bill to delay the individual mandate for a year passed last week by 250 to 160 with the support of 27 Democrats. On the day we were debating uh, a one-year delay on the penalty for individuals, uh, the president issued a veto threat. Officials encourage those exempted to buy catastrophic insurance. Documents warn consumers, however, they must apply for exemptions and may be denied. I don't think there's any realistic chance they'll enforce this, and so you could go without insurance entirely. The administration argues the mandate is sacrosanct and critical to making Obamacare work, but critics say it's been weakened so much it's almost meaningless. Brett.